So the short version is my brother and I wanted to combine art and business somehow. We found uh, t-shirts to be an accessible way to do that. We basically lived out of a van for five years trying to sell shirts to kids in college dorms without much success. But finally, we landed on something after uh, some, some uh, being wildly unsuccessful. We, we found this one shirt that said, life is good with this character named Jake. Uh, and that changed our lives forever. That, that shirt took off and we started building on that. And over the years, we learned so much from our customers about the depth of that message, that life isn't easy, life isn't perfect. And, and the people that are most loyal to our brand are the people that have been through the most adversity, and they've helped us grow this brand today. And, and what was it about that moment? Was it just the T-shirt itself? Was there a, a, a marketing opportunity around it? What was the inflection point there? It was actually a conversation we had a lot about how people get fed a lot of uh, negative news and it's hard to navigate, and we wondered if we could help, help create a rallying cry for optimists, and that's where that first Life is Good shirt came from. And uh, people, you know, we've realized since then, whether it's wartime, whether we, the economy is struggling, people want something positive to rally around, and uh, fortunately our, our brand has become one of those things. Well, it's one of the great things about America, isn't it? I mean, I've noticed in the past that pessimism sells in Europe and optimism sells in America. Right. Um, but I'm curious, are you seeing at the moment more demand for optimism amongst the consumers you're selling to, given the gloomy tone of the election and all the fear-mongering and stuff? We actually are, absolutely. And we've seen it, like I mentioned, in wartime. And at first, when something terrible happens in this company, let's say, country, let's say 9-11, we didn't know if it was appropriate to send out our product. And then we learned from our customers after doing a fundraiser, they, they want it more than ever. So to a lesser degree right now, it's a strange year and there's a lot of tension uh, on a different levels and people, the, the demand is higher. And uh, I think people are looking for ways to rise above the noise and the mudslinging and we're trying to provide that. We're actually creating something that started Monday called Positive State and we're highlighting people that are doing good in every state in the 50 days leading up to the election and we're giving out grants to people in every state to help them grow the good in their community. And that's another question I have. It's Gillian Tett from the Financial Times. When you look at your consumers, is there a particular demographic that is hungry for optimism or a particular part of the country? And is it correlated to sunshine? We, we actually, it's not a demographic based on age or background. It's really, you know, it's about optimists and then it's about people we're trying to help convert to optimism. And that's, it's as simple as that. John, uh, this is a business question. Maybe it's a hard business question. What's the defensibility of a t-shirt company or an apparel <laughs> company in this day and age? When, when I, I imagine uh, many of us, if we, if we had a great slogan, and I can't claim I, I have one at the moment, could, could effectively start a t-shirt company tomorrow? It's, uh, it's a low barrier to entry, so uh, absolutely. It's one of the reasons we jumped in. And fortunately, we, we found something w with much greater depth than a trendy slogan. And we really learned that from our customers, as I mentioned. We didn't know at the beginning. We were trying to celebrate the good, help people focus on the good. But we learned something much greater, which is life isn't easy, life isn't perfect. Life is good, and again, um, right. people seem to be drawn to our brand even more when they go through difficult adversity. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.